Good evening, uh, kids. Good evening, parents, chess teachers. Welcome back uh, to the Rook Endgame course. In the lesson 35, we are going to study um, a position where we have a rook uh, and a pawn against the rook. And here we'll see a couple of very interesting strategical ideas that can help us in our own games. So this pawn is going forward and wants to become a queen. So the question is, what is the correct move here? All right, let me hide the moon so you can see them. Should we play rook f1 check or should we play rook e1 check? What do you think? Okay. If you found this move, then you are correct. Rook e1 is the right move. We'll come back later and study rook f1. Now look, here you are keeping an eye on this pawn, so it cannot move forward. So let's see now. Check. Where do we go with the king? Should we go to f8? Is it dangerous to be on f8? Or should we run away to h6? What do you think? Well, we have to go to f8. Because if you go to h6, then after king of six and king e seven, you're going to end up in Luciana position. So we have to play this move. And now white cannot improve. Look, after this move, yes, white is threatening checkmate, but you have check. We know this position, right? And now the game is a draw because you can play check, 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 and white simply cannot improve, right? Um, just don't uh, make this kind of mistake like, playing check and allowing the other king to get here. I just just don't do that. Um, but um, if you if you play here, let's say I move like king to e8, then of course the game is a draw. So let's see let's see what else can happen here. Is there any other idea that uh, after rook e1 you know why do something else? Not really. Right, there's nothing, um, no, nothing to worry about, right? Because if this move is played with the idea e7, you always can play king of seven. Here we will just play more like this. Nothing happens. So you see, you can make a draw, right? So strategical idea, rooking behind the pawn, wonderful. Let's see what would happen if you play this move, right? Now, of course, you have to know this kind of stuff as well. Check, check, and king goes in front of the pawn. Now, white is going to win the game because after king e8, there, there are no moves for black. Black can play this move with this one, and, and then rook d6 can be a check, or you can simply escape. Right now, we can escape. Check, you, here we are, and the next move is a queen. So, Nothing to worry about uh, in this position. Um, if uh, black plays something like this, you have rook d7 check. If black plays a move like king f6, you play here. And if the black plays here, yeah, right? Now we cannot play king f8 because the checks. We can play this move and then we check from the side. And that's that's how you can escape now with a king and power it up. Right. Okay. See, we've learned some very nice, interesting ideas. Uh, again, if you really want to understand those positions, uh, please play them with your chess teachers. Take a 10 minutes on the chess clock and uh, just play them over and over. And if you don't make a draw in this position, then you can try again. Right. That's how you learn. You have to practice and practice and practice. Okay. I'll see you in the position number two. Bye-bye.